Hey everyone, the Gibraltar Masters has just ended and this was the most important game of the final round. This game is played between Chinese Grand Master Yu Yang Yi and Russian Grand Master Vladislav Artemyev, both very promising young players. Artemyev was leading the tournament heading into this game with 7.5 points. Behind him were Yu Yang Yi, Maxim Vashir-Legraf, and Kartikian, I hope that's how you pronounce his name, an Indian Grandmaster. All of them had 7 points. So Artemyev had to try and win this to ensure that he finished the tournament clear first. Yu Yang Yi had the white pieces, and he opened with e4. Artemyev played the Karo Khan defense. We have d4, d5, e5, the advanced variation. Bishop f5, knight f3, e6. Bishop to e2, knight to d7, white castle, bishop g6, vacating the f5 square for a knight, c3, knight h6, a4, black responded with a5, and knight a3. And this is actually the new move in the position. So previously, bishop g5 has been played. Bishop takes h6 is also an idea, but it does give up the two bishops, and it does open the g-file for black to work with. So here Yu Yang Yi decided to play knight a3. Artemyev played bishop to e7, knight c2, black castled, knight c to e1, so white wants knight to d3. Artemyev played c5, undermining white center. Now that black has castled kingside, white decides to take the knight and double the pawns. White would like to play knight d3 here, but that would block the bishop, so Yu Yang Yi plays bishop b5 first. That also stops queen b5, queen to b6 with tempo on b2. So our team have took on d4 and played knight back to b8. The knight wasn't doing much on d7, so black is going to reroute the knight. Queen d2 from Yu Yang Yi hitting h6. So king to g7, knight to d3, white seems to be doing fine here. Definitely has more space than black, but black has the two bishops, so this is definitely still playable. So here knight c6 seems natural, attacking this d4 pawn, also eyeing the b4 square, and keeping your knight towards the center of the board. But that kind of... Uh, allows white to go knight c5, provoking the bishop to capture on c5, which is not something that black wants in this position. So here Artemyev decided to play knight to a6, so that controls the c5 square. Knight f4 from Yu Yang Yi, and we have queen to b6. And Yu Yang Yi goes h4. So h5 can sometimes be helpful, but white's main idea here is to vacate the h2 square for a knight, potentially coming to g4. So here taking the bishop only helps to correct black's pawns, and then white has no advantage here, as this knight is going to come to the b4 square, which could potentially support a rook on the second rank. So here h4 from white. Artemyev brought the rook over to the c file, even though white has more space, this is still very much a fighting game. Black's control of c2 ensures that he is going to get counterplay. Yu Yang Yi challenged the open file, rook f to c1, Artemyev took, and he played knight b4. So now g3, white is preparing, uh, protecting the pawn on h4 before playing the move knight to h2. Artemyev played knight to a2, and this is an unpleasant move to deal with as white now has to relinquish control of the c-file. Here he played rook d1, and Artemyev immediately grabbed the open file, rook to c8. Knight h2 from Yu Yang Yi, and queen to c7, eyeing the c2 square. So you might be thinking, why not just play rook c2 and grab the second rank? There's a tactic here for white, knight h5 check. And if that is taken, then 
queen takes rook. So the idea here is that if the king drops back, then queen takes h6. So here, after knight h2, queen c7. And Yu Yangyi played bishop to d3, a very logical move, trying to control this square. So if white continued with knight g4, black would have no problems whatsoever after queen to c2. And after the queen is traded, black is completely fine. So in this position, h5 is maybe the only try for white to try and keep the initiative. But the following line is probably not what a human would play. This is the line given by the computer. So if queen to c2, then white has knight takes e6 check, followed by queen takes h6 with some sort of attack against black's king. But in this position, after queen c7, Yu Yangyi played bishop d3. Now Artemiev played h5 just to stop knight g4. And Yu Yangyi played g4, hoping for some sort of initiative after pawn takes. If queen c2, knight h5 check, but king f8 and black is completely fine. So white is probably hoping for king to h8, then you can take. And then play rook to d3 with the idea of rook to f3 going after f7, and this plan is quite difficult to stop. But here, g4 is not entirely sound. Best for white was maybe to play bishop to e2. Allow the queen to come in. White is up a pawn in this position, but black is definitely doing fine because of his control of the c-file. So bishop e2 is the best move in the position recommended by the computer, but here g4 played. Artemiev played knight b4, white took on g6, so white can also play g takes h5, but this would result in an endgame where black is slightly better because he has control of the c-file and white also has these doubled pawns. So here, bishop takes g6, black took back, we have g takes h5, queen c2, white took on g6. So here black can take the queen, but that would result in an endgame being down a pawn. So Artemiev plays queen f5, this is actually the best move. Making room for the rook to come to c2, and potentially black could have some serious pressure on f2 with bishop takes h4. So here, Yu Yangyi played queen e3, so Artemiev slowly outplays Yu. Now he took on g6, opening up the f-file in the process. Queen g3 from Yu Yangyi, and now rook to f8. So here, knight g2. At this point, both players had like less than 10 minutes on their clocks. But black's position is just much easier to play. Artemiev has targets to attack, such as b2, d4, f2. h4 is weak as well. So he could go for a plan, for example, bishop d8, bishop b6, bring the knight over to c6, going after the d4 pawn, but here, decides to play queen c2, attacking rook and pawn. So here knight e3 played. Black can take the pawn, but after h5, white definitely gets some counterplay. So Artemiev plays queen e4, very solid move, also looking at h4. So despite being up a pawn, uh, despite white being up a pawn, black is the one that is controlling the game. So here, knight e to g4. So computer actually recommends knight g2. I guess that also helps to prevent the rook from coming to f4, but if you're moving the knight back to g2, this feels kind of bad. 
In the game, Yu Yang Yi played knight e to g4, and from this point, white's position just crumbles. Knight c6 now from Artemyev, attacking the d4 pawn. Queen e3, white tries to defend, but now rook to f4. Black's pieces are just so active. Knight f6 played, and here we have bishop takes, and white traded queens. Knight f3 defending this pawn, also the pawn on h4. Material is even, but black's pieces are just so excellently placed. These pawns on d4 and h4 are kind of weak. Black is doing very well in this endgame. So now our team have played knight to e7, king g2, and knight f5. Further improving the knight, where it looks at both of these pawns. And there is no defense. For white here, he played rook over to d3. If he tried to defend the h-pawn with king to, king to h3, then white goes to rook e2, double attack on f2 and b2. So very difficult position to defend for white. In the game, Yu Yangyi played rook d3. So now knight takes h4. King g3, g5. King g2, rook back to e4. King g3, uh, king to f5. King g2, not much that white can do in this position with this very active rook of blacks. Black continued with g4, king f1, b6. King g2 and rook to e1, an excellent move from Artemyev. So now giving the king access to the e4 square, and also giving him the option of going rook here to a1 uh, to a1 to attack the a4 pawn. Now b3 played by white, and the king comes into the position. Rook d2, rook b1 now attacking b3. King to g3, king f5, defending. Rook d3, just trying to keep everything together. But here, rook h1, threatening to skewer king and rook, so king g2, and the finishing touch, rook to h3. And Yu Yang Yi resign in this position. White is kind of forced to trade rooks. And if he takes, then black goes king e4, and this is easily winning for black. So if he moves the rook back, for example, rook d2, then black simply takes on b3. And if he tries f3, then here king to f4 wins, as this pawn is pinned. So with this win, Vladislav Artemyev finishes clear first in the Gibraltar Masters, ahead of very strong players such as MVL, Levon Aronian, Wesley So, that's also Hikaru Nakamura, so plenty of strong players in this tournament. And the future is definitely looking very bright for Russian chess. Artemyev is now rated 2736 on the live rating list, and is currently the world number 20. So that is all for this video, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.